Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Lane, uh, you know, I'm assuming that's going to go match the Silas there. Uh, should be a pretty strong matchup. And uh, that does, like you said, lock the Graves into the top side of the map. Surprised to see it blind. I mean, maybe this is a bit of a call out on Fudge's champion pool, but for people who are pushing solo lanes, that's going to make it very easy to find priority, find invade, steal camps away from the Lee Sin. You see, that's exactly what Hush is doing, wanting to use this advantage, make it uncomfortable. We'll see if C9 can collapse onto this, but this is the game plan for Beyond. Blood of Snort that uh, Crocto and Fudge now key, they're going to collapse. Who's in trouble? Blood already dealing a lot of damage. Lee going in there trying to spin the brands around, but it's Blabber that finds first oh, blood. No. And we are on the menu. For second, and it's a tragedy. Mark C as Fudge takes the second kill. Cloud Nine collapse instantly onto that Krug invade by Husha. Blabber does not land the initial Q, but falls up very quickly. Fudge gets the uh, inside track on that collapse, and that's the big reason why. Action's not over though. Vulcan roll. Vulcan at it again on the Leona. Mid lane here is going to force a flash. Fudge's CS not feeling too hot, so this Lilia counter pick definitely working out early on despite the death. But obviously the gold deficit is going to be massively shortened by uh, that kill and assist gold that Fudge has picked up. So things feeling pretty good, but Beyond Gaming, uh, not done. Now it's a 3v3 brewing here in the mid lane as Kino has roamed up here on the Amumu Vulcan level 4. Also at the ready, perps going in for it. But again, staying respectful. Now can see one steals the ulti, gets it going! And Vulcan takes that Moan and now going back in his blabber. He's going to find the Nexus. Kino's trying to get the kill. Doggo flashes in, gets the auto attack and takes down perks. And now Cloud9 in a 2v3. They don't really fancy the rest of that vision. There is a ward in the back of the pit, so Cloud9 do know what's happening. Vulcan going to confirm that by tapping the plant there and uh, getting the Scryer's Bloom vision. But I don't think there's anything Cloud9 can do. Ezreal's too late to this play. This ultimate's gonna try and steal it. Not gonna happen though, and that will be Husha picking up the hell. Now Volker looking for the angle perks here as well. See if it lands on a Husha, but the ulti's really nice. Fudge follows up, but the damage is massive. Yone back in as Blabber does actually get the kill. But Yone gonna snap back as Leon takes down Fudge. Now Blabber's completely trapped, and will get picked up there as Beyond Gaming trade two for one. Yeah, nice job there. Beyond Gaming punishing Cloud9. That's kind of what I was talking about. That like that. We'll, we'll see. I, I suspect that you're right though, that this is just. For some Q poke because that's the main way that you're going to be dealing with the uh, Lily on lane phase. All right, well, so far so good oh. for... Maybe you do want to commit harder into the insta-blow somebody up game plan, which this will be better at, as well as providing a little bit of extra CC. It shouldn't be, you know, understated how much that can help. Whoa, oh, look at actually finding one! Not quite a one-shot just yet, Gray's pretty tanky, but not nearly tanky enough as Fudge that picks up the kill. Oh, who Perspective of, hey, we have to, like, kill a single key member. Uh, this actually does line up well, right? Between Lily and a 1v1, Fudge can't really do anything, but sitting under the tower and hope for the best. Cloud9, though, have started the dragon, but it's Rift Herald dropped mid that's going to be the trade. That charge up for a nice little exchange there in mid. Yeah, a uh, bit of an interesting situation. I'll hold my thought as we see it again. Oh, that chain CC is so good, but Hoosh still takes out Sven. The CC on the other side is better than Fudge. Gets the Everfrost, just barely missed the Yone, who ulties out. But Doggo is going to be the target. Perks is going to shut that down. As this Sars has been on point all tournament long, make it a second there as Lily is going to die to Perks. See, now the double and Cloud Knight collapsed to punish BYG in mid. Oh. See, and that's, you know, apparent. Yep. But I think the thing that is also really important for all ins and just being a threat is the amount of damage that comes through. If you land both has it as he's currently getting his heat gone. Oh, Perks looking for the Everfrost, but he finds the E on the other side instead as the ulti stole it. Does commit it for the kill, but Perks is on a killing spree now. Happily taken as Vulcan looking to lock up Yone, but he goes back in. Vulcan gonna get crushed as Doggo picks up one. Yeah, losing track of TP. Position too far in the river. That is the case, but Moan TP collapse does make it a one for one. You trade supports out there. Still probably a little bit in Cloud9's favor to get that global off the map so you can be a little more free with the rest of your playmaking. Oh goodness, Malphite. Just so much CC. Doggo is no flash, no hope, <laughs> just dead. Just straight dead, 1v1. Yeah, uh, we'll see if Fudge can get out of there if he's gonna get punished for that all in. Might be going for with that um, stopwatch you see. Might actually be picking up a Zonya's as well. Uh, kind of going uh, a little bit of a high reaper out there because it still has armor on it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah. Curious to see if it does uh, turn into that, or if he's just happy with the investment right now. Obviously, we all know stopwatch is very good. Doggo, ooh, gonna have to cleanse it off. Blabber looking for the kill, finds ooh. the Q, threads the needle, and now the flash kick is gonna deliver him to Sven, who picks it up nicely. Blabber, though, pops a glow drink, and that's unfortunately not enough to save you. Item's not that good, but Vulcan also in trouble. Yone also over the top to finish things off as Beyond Gaming will punish Cloud Dance Green Little. That was definitely greedy. Uh, Blabber saw the angle, healed on. We're not done yet. Teleport's coming in from Malphite. It's Fudge. He's got ulti. Who's getting ulted? Everybody. Sven already took down one, and again, the Everfrost. Malphite happens, and you just cannot run away. Leon, though, has found a target. He does want a battle. 
Bolt's Bang gonna cleanse off the sleep. Fudge does shut down Husha. On a killing spree now from this Malphite, and Perks is chasing Leon, but Lily is just so speedy. Oh, at the end there, you saw, you know, Fudge tunneling, <laughs> wanting to finish off Leon. Then you have Perks focusing, I believe it was Kino down, and then Le uh, uh, Leon was just in the middle. Oh, God. They're, it looked like they were trying to set up a face check um, and just got a little greedy going for it, flashed over the wall. And it was harder for Beyond Game to do it. And you can see that lapse of vision has allowed Sinai to start bearing. Fudge at it again, but this is just zoning, maybe looking to finish off the Baron. In fact, Fudge <laughs> completely <laughs> just gonna get keep Husha out of this pit. Gets the Everfrost down on Takino. Oh Perks on the top. They've got the Baron, and now they're going back to it. Perks! And there's Venk getting that kill as now. Mullen gets a very nice ulti through, but it's just no follow up there. Fudge is gonna get shot down by Leon. The Conqueror procs the spin happens, and they will at least trade back one for one. But Leon now has to turn for the hills. Kino's already dead. Husha felt fell as well, so not even a one form. Beyond Gaming losing two, and Cloud9 still got the Baron. Oh god, the fudge factor, the BM emote spam just saying, walk through me. I dare you, try and get to this Baron buff, uh, and it kind of stalls out Beyond. And, you know, on the back end of this, they're going to find a couple more kills for C9, probably here. Leon in a bit of trouble. Yeah, Blabber Lydia ran all the there. way to the wrong side of the rift, and Blabber and Vulcan are going to have to go on Wild Dune Chase, but I think they'll lock it down. It might take a bit. Vulcan is uh, getting a little spooky on the HP situation, but Blabba, very it's accurate. Cloud9, it's Perks stealing the movement ultimate every fight. Who's the best opponent in the game? Kino. The Silas. Definitely Silas. <laughs> Definitely the level 16, 11 stack Magi Silas. Uh, well, maybe they're going to go finish him off for that. All right, Perks going to lose some pages, perhaps in a 1v3 that he cannot escape. We'll get shut down, but Cloud9 are just rampaging to the rim. It's just off. Again, Fudge can play Bodyguard if he needs to, but he doesn't need to. Human has the exhaust ready for the team fight. Has I've been swapping. Pretty, uh, I certainly hope so, as Perks is even going to do a bit of counter jungle here alongside Blabba. Level 17 now for the Silas, as Perks is just zipping over the walls, like into the waiting arms of Pusha and friends. Level 12 of Moomoo now, but oh. shots one. Oh, flash ulti! Not enough, but now the ulti tears again as Perks has once again stolen Curse of the Sand Mummy, and Fudge is in there, Blabba's in there uh -oh. first, though. It's going to pop the Zonius. Fudge looking for it. It's going to get the pick up. That's a great Yoni ulti to try and get it back. And indeed, they get the kill. It's Fudge now low, but not dead just yet. But he flashes out of the way. It's Cloud9 still looking to play here under the tower. Perks going absolutely insane under the enemy tier 2. Looks for the second, can't grab it. And now Vulcan going into stasis. I think Cloud9 may be bit off a little too much on this play. And jump on top of them. Not happy. Doesn't look too thrilled about that one. Yeah. Did not want to lose those stacks, I bet. You know, yeah. No, nothing on that mage he's, he's out. Yeah, he's out. Lost the last page he had. I think he saw, like, you know, another, the 10 stacks coming back in. But so, oh my goodness, poor Kino just deleted his uh, yes, uh, Yone. Sorry, he's going to go back in and find a few. Blabba Lobin, not dead yet, but Vulcan also bleeding as Fudge. Trying to play defense, but beyond side from the top play, they can play aggressively here, keep the minions pushing and take Baron. So it's not, you know, reckless engaging that Cloud9 are entertaining, but they already the bottom side of the rift was pretty battered by Cloud9's last siege. Uh, that inhibitor's back, though, thankfully for them, but Fudge is once again uh, asking to ult your teammates. As Vulcan does find the engage, Everfrost follows Kino, loses the ulti again. Blabber maybe trying to bait out the ulti, but doesn't find it, finds another Q, though. Kicks him to death, and Cloud9 now... A test 4v5, or if they're going to keep uh, Moyan on top side. He doesn't have TP, so it looks like they're just sacking it. Yeah, going to go ahead, have to give that Infernal Soul over again. Your room is on up for 10 seconds, not a lot you can really do. And take down a second in hip here, and maybe just walk it in. Kino is back, but I'm not sure it matters. Yeah, he, he ended up losing his ult, right? Plenty of time left on this Baron. 45 seconds. Jeez, that is a long siege for Beyond to try and go in. And Blabber just finds the pick. It's Kino again. They're bullying the poor boy. And now Vulcan diving back in. Hoosh, though, is going to make him pay for it as Perks dove in straight. As Ben is now dominating in Perks, he is going to die. Who's actually grabbed himself to double his cloud now tried to end the game but couldn't quite find it. Three uh, again, C9 are just trying to get to that same map set, right? Where they can take Gris and it doesn't really matter. And if nothing happens, then they'll go ahead and take an objective as Perks. Steals the Yone ultimate to get out of there. No, never mind. He's not going out. He only goes in. And now he's going to have to leap. And he goes back Whoa. through the Infernal Soul. Explodes the enemy Yone. And now Perks looking to make the 1v2 into another 1v1 win. And Perks will find the double in the 1v2 play. And Fudge has taken every tower shot in the lands. And Sven demolishes for Husha and BYG. They can only defend for so long. But the ace is there. And Cloud9 are going to pick up their second win at Worlds. Cloud9 going 2-0 to start groups. Beyond Gaming dropping to 0-2, a tough start, but uh, for Cloud9.